Hello everyone, this is Dr. Ritika Gaba, your one and only PhD mentor, advisor and trainer. So on the 8th of March 2024, we launched our mentoring services for US, which means that from now onwards, we are going to guide you, support you, assist you, mentor you in your PhD admission journey, both for Indian universities and as well as for the universities of US. For more information about our one-to-one -one mentoring session and all the other services that we provide to PhD aspirants, please visit our website www.zenithphd.in. Have a look at our success story, testimonial, various services, download the brochure and have a good understanding of what exactly we do. If you are someone who wants more knowledge, in-depth, genuine information about PhD from India or from US, then keep watching our channel All About PhD by Dr. Ritika Gaba. We have already released two videos on the US PhD journey and as well about the higher education from USA. So in our first video, we had told you five facts about higher education from US and in the second one, we have addressed certain important questions related to the PhD in USA. Today, I'm going to talk about the PhD program of a university which is well known not only in the US but rather the world over. A university which is well known for its high level of education and research, a university that is synonymous to prestige, success and intelligence. So based on my interaction with thousands of PhD aspirants and based on my experience with the one-to-one -one mentoring that I've provided to my PhD students, I have designed or collected a set of 10 questions. Those 10 questions which normally students ask me when they want to know more about a particular university's PhD program. And in today's video, from the point of view of Harvard PhD program, I am going to address these 10 questions. So if you are someone, whether you are from India or anywhere across the world, who wants to know more about Harvard's PhD program, then do watch this video as you are going to get answers to all your important questions related to the PhD program of Harvard University from the US. So now, without wasting any more time, let us start with our questions and answers for the PhD program of Harvard. Question number one is, does Harvard offer a PhD program? Yes, of course, Harvard is well known for its research and PhD program. It offers PhD in more than 70 subjects and within each subject, there are sub, 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 multiple sub options. These programs, these 70 subjects are offered through its 13 different graduate schools. Moving on to a question number two, what are the qualifications which are required to pursue a PhD from Harvard? So the minimum qualification that is required is a bachelor's degree. Now in USA, a bachelor's course is for four years. However, if you are somebody like if you are an Indian student or from any other country where your bachelor's program is usually of three years, then you have to simply provide an equivalent certificate to show that your three years of bachelor's is equivalent to a normal four years of bachelor's that is done in US. However, whether you are a three years of bachelor's graduate or you are a four year bachelor's graduate, as long as your degree is recognized by the authorities of your government, then you are eligible to apply to the prestigious Harvard University. Moving on to our third point, when do the admissions of Harvard University PhD program open? So the admissions will open in the month of September each year. Remember, Harvard opens its admission for PhD only once a year. So if you're keen to apply for the June 2025 session, 
then you have to apply in September 2024. Moving on to our question number four, which is till when do the PhD admissions remain open? So the PhD admissions of Harvard remain open till the month of either first week of December or the first week of January, depending on the school where you are applying to. So on an average, you will get a total of 90 days to submit your applications. However, no matter how much time you get after the opening of admission, my suggestion as a PhD mentor, and this is exactly what is written on the Harvard website also, that you need to start preparing for your PhD admission journey in Harvard or any other Ivy League schools or top tier US schools months in advance. So at least six to eight months in advance, you should definitely start preparing for your admission journey. Moving on to our next question, which is, do you require any standardized test to apply to Harvard? Uh, yes, GRE or GMAT is usually asked by the university for uh, applying to the different PhD programs. However, there are certain schools who do not ask for any standardized test. So neither GRE or GMAT, therefore, before deciding in to take any of these two tests, please go and visit the website, understand what are the requirements and accordingly choose the test which is best for you. As it is in case of GRE also, sometimes they accept the general uh, test and sometimes they ask for subject specific tests. So please do visit the website and check before deciding on the test that you want to take up. Moving on to our sixth question which is do you require any kind of research document like your SOP or a research proposal to apply? Yes, these are very, very, very important documents to be submitted with the application and definitely. So there is a possibility that you won't be asked for a standardized test, but there is no way that you will not be asked for any of these documents. So some institutes, I mean, some programs ask for either an SOP, some ask for research proposal, some ask for a research essay, research paper, personal statement, some ask for more than one of such documents, but preparing these documents months in advance, preparing them in uh, in a very carefully curated manner is a very important part of your PhD preparation and your application. Remember, you can be shortlisted or selected based on these documents alone. Moving on to our question seven. Do you require recommendation letters for your PhD application process? Yes, definitely. Recommendation letters are a very important part of your PhD application process. So choose your recommenders wisely and understand why recommendation letters are required and what kind of content should go into it so that you can accordingly guide or suggest your recommenders about it. Moving on to a question number eight. Is Viva a part of the PhD selection process? So in Harvard, you may or may not have to face the Viva. So Viva is not usually a part of your PhD application process in many of the programs and therefore I am again and again saying write your documents very well, take proper guidance, have proper information about how these SOPs etc are to be written and also focus on your recommendation letters and its content. Moving on to our next question, question number 9, how many times can you apply to Harvard? So here is a very important information for you. There is a restriction in the number of time you can apply to Harvard with a total of three attempts. So you are you can apply to Harvard only three times. Therefore, whenever you choose to apply to Harvard, be very well prepared and kindly do not start your preparation after the application process has opened. Rather, do it from now itself if you are keen to apply to this institute. Moving on to our 10th and the final question of this video. By when are the results of the PhD admission released? So the month where the PhD admission uh, results are released is March. So you apply from September to December, September to January. That's when the PhD admission window is open. 
the results are released in march and your classes will start from the month of june this is all about harvard university's phd program if you have any more questions please ask them in the comment section below if you are someone who is who hasn't already then please 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 do subscribe to our videos we will be coming up with more genuine in depth and well researched information about phd from india and from us thank you so much till we meet next week